Hi, my name is Dr. Deborah Venesey, and I am Vice President for our Academy of Physical Medicine and Rehabilitation. One group of members that we'd like to recognize are the 2020 award recipients who've made significant contributions to the specialty in their own unique ways. Let's meet them now and hear a little bit more about each one. Thank you to the Academy for naming me this year's PASOR Legacy Award recipient. Uh, what a great honor, what a great surprise. Um, I am really, truly uh, feel very blessed to be included in the long list of uh, prior award recipients um, that carry on the name of PASOR and its legacy. Um, I wanna thank uh, the leadership at the Shirley Ryan Ability Lab when I uh, wanted to go and do some research, they allowed me to do that. When I wanted to go on soccer fields and, and provide sports medicine coverage, they were wholly supportive of that. And when I wanted to teach a new generation of physiatrists, uh, they were 100% behind my career in medical education as well. So thank you all um, for this honor. And um, I, really, um, I really am very grateful and very humbled by it. Hey there, Academy members. How you doing? This is Dr. Stuart Glassman saying thank you so much for being awarded the Public Service Award. I want to thank my family, friends, and colleagues, everyone that I worked with and served with, from Rosemont to Washington, D.C., NYU to Granite Physiatry, and New Hampshire to Tampa. Stay positive, find the balance, be part of a great team, and always believe. Hope to see you guys soon. Aloha. Thank you so much for this award. There are so many people who supported me all along the way in my career and I'm grateful to all of them. I have a message for early career physicians and physiatrists. I want to share three things that I did with my career and I want to encourage you to do really amazing and interesting things with your career. Of course, we should all be focusing on patients and clinical care as much as possible. But also, one of the things that I did along the way is I became an oral historian and recorded the testimonies of polio survivors. This oral history project ultimately became an exhibit at the Smithsonian. I also founded a startup company and went through the process of founding it, running it, and then ultimately selling it. Finally, I've become a disparities researcher, both patient care disparities and also workforce disparities. So no matter what hat you're wearing at any given time, there's so many opportunities for you. Thank you for this wonderful award. Hey y'all, how wonderful to have uh, received such an amazing award, so humbling considering all of the people in our field, all of the wonderful physiatrists that I know. So many wonderful colleagues and mentors through the years. I uh, just so appreciate all of you, and it's great to be recognized for some of the work that I've done. Thank you again. I would like to thank the Academy for honoring me with its Distinguished Member Award. I am tremendously grateful, particularly in light of the attention this brings to cancer rehabilitation, which has been the focus of my academic uh, and clinical efforts. I would also like to thank the many mentors whose support, advice, and patience have made all the difference, including Drs. Joel DeLisa, Stephen Kirschblum, Lynn Gerber, Jeffrey Basford, Carmen Tursik, Kate Stolp, and Kirk Kroenke. I thank them and I thank you. I want to thank the AAPMNR for this remarkable award. And most of all, thank my entire team in Boston at Spalding, Mass General Brigham, and Harvard Medical School. Without them, nothing is possible. I am highly honored, but also humbled, to be recognized by my fellow Academy members through the Frank H. Cruz and Lifetime Achievement Award. This award represents achievement which of course would not have been possible without many others. First, let me thank the entire awards committee, but especially Drs. Venesey and Worsowitz for their recognition. Also my two greatest mentors, Marty Grayboys and John Melvin, who helped form my career path as a young faculty member in their respective departments. To all the Academy board members and past presidents who offered advice, not always correct or helpful, I might add, or encouraged me along the way, thank you. 
to my wife, Eileen, who whenever I accepted some academy responsibility or another would actually ask me, can't you ever learn to say no? Thanks for understanding that I really couldn't say no when the academy felt that I could contribute something. To my former departments and colleagues who tolerated my being away on academy business, thanks. To all of my trainees over the years who listened patiently to my lectures, challenged me and asked questions I couldn't answer, thank you. After spending nearly 30 years in academic PM&R, I joined my current employer, Integrated Rehab Consultants, as Chief Medical Officer. I want to thank IRC for their confidence in me as we endeavor to make physiatric practice in all levels of post-acute care the standard of care. But mostly my thanks go to all Academy members. You are part of a great organization and field. PM&R has a distinguished past and a bright future. We have made significant advances in reducing disability, pain, and human suffering. If I, in my career, have been able to add anything to the field and encourage others to be as passionate about PM&R as I am, I will be happy. Thank you for this award from the bottom of my heart. I hope you've enjoyed learning more about our 2020 award recipients. I want to offer my most sincere and heartfelt congratulations on all of your achievements. Each has worked tirelessly to advance our specialty and the patients we serve. Cheers. We are so grateful for your excellent work. Be sure to attend the virtual 52nd Zyder Lecture and Awards video presentation on Sunday, November 15th at 3 p.m. Central Time, where these Academy members will be officially recognized for their efforts.